Welcome to the homework for lesson 14. This is module 4 of grade 1. Get your name on here first before you forget. And use the pictures or draw quick tens and ones. Complete the number sentence and the place value chart. So some of these, the pictures are already drawn for you, but later on you're going to have to draw your own pictures. So we have the 15, and just like we were doing for the um, for the lesson uh, 13 homework, you can see the 15 is drawn with, the first addend is drawn with circles for ones, like these here, these, these are the 5 and the 15. And then the 3 more is the X's. That's the second addend is drawn in X's. And you'll see in all these that the, the second addend is just single, with, there's no 10's in it. So 15 plus 3, you can see what we have here. There's just one 10, because that 5 and these 3 only make 8. 5 plus 3 is 8. So we have to complete the number sentence too, 18. 15 plus 5, and you can see here in this example, they drew it, the two 5's made a quick 10. So there's two 10's here and zero ones for 20. And this 15 plus 6, we had enough to make a quick 10 right here, but there was one more left over. So what do we have now? We have two 10s and a 1, so that's 21. And I just want to mention this while we're looking at this picture, that we could have drawn this as a number bond and said that that's five from that six and this is the one more down here and that would be making because we'd be looking at making tens to add that that would give us the two fives to put together to make that quick ten so i hope that little hint helps because we're going to be using it 28 so now we got to draw the quick tens two tens and then eight one two three four five six seven eight and then two x's that's a quick ten that makes three tens with zero ones left over thirty twenty eight plus four two tens one two three four five six seven eight and now we need four x's so that's nine ten eleven twelve there's our ten so that's think of it you don't have to draw this number bond here but i'm going to do it just to show you there's two x's that went to make that ten and there's two that were left over so there's our 30, right? 10, 20, 30, three tens, and, four, and two ones left over, 32. 28 plus 7. So we're going to draw the 28 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we need seven X's, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's three tens and five ones for 35. Seventeen plus three. That's going to be a ten and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then three x's eight nine ten now you might recognize that seven and three that's one of our those are partners of ten so that's that's a ten we have two tens and zero ones for twenty seventeen plus seven so seven's a little more than three so we're going to have a little bit more than twenty so here's our seventeen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
but we need seven X's. So we have three of those now so far. So we need four, five, six, seven. There's going to be a 10 here for two tens. And then there's four ones left over, 24. And our last one now, we've got 27 plus 7. So it's going to look a lot like the 17 plus 7, but it's going to have another 10. So the 27 is 1, 2 tens, right? 10, 20, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, if you're trying to keep up with me, and I'm working too fast, and you can't draw the dots and the, and the quick tens and all that stuff as fast as I draw it, that's okay. It's a video. Just pause it, catch up, and then, or go back to the part where before you fell behind, and and then pause it, and then catch up, and then you can just see this. Okay, so that was 27, and now I need seven more, seven X's. So that's seven ones, right? Because for the 27, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I need seven X's. I have three there now. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. You can see we still have that four left over. Four ones left over. But now there's one, two, three tens for 34. Make a number bond to solve. Show your thinking with number sentences or the arrow way. And complete the place value chart. So, thinking about the arrow way, some of these I'm going to show with uh, number sentences, and some I'm going to write the arrow way, and it's really not going to look much different. 13 plus 6. So, it's, I'm going to make a number bond to solve this. So, I see 13 plus 6. I'm going to make that into a 10 and a 3. And then adding the ones together, 3 plus 6 equals 9. And then adding the 10, 10 plus 9 equals 19. It's so easy to add to 10. What do we have? 10s and 1s. 19. Now we're really doing the same thing we did on the first page, except on the first page we drew the we drew the stuff to make quick tens. And then in this thing, instead of and what we did is we counted, we'd count the ones together, and then we count the tens, add the ones, and have our number in our place value chart. We're going to do the same thing here, except we're going to do with number bonds and then do the addition with either an equation or with arrow notation. And I'm going to show you kind of a, a cool thing about Arrowway that's going to make some things a little bit easier. So 13 plus 7. So here's my number bond. 10 3 for 13, right? And 7 and 3. There's partners to 10 right here. So we'll start with the 1s. 3 plus 7. And I'll make that above the arrow. That gets us to 10. And then I'm going to add the other 10 plus 10. Gets us to 20. Two tens, zero ones, twenty. So you can see, like the difference for Arrowway. If if I wrote this as an equation, I would have to write two different equations. But because I'm doing it Arrowway, I can do it a little bit. It's kind of like a lazy equation. So instead of writing three plus seven equals ten, and then ten plus ten equals twenty, I can just kind of write this arrow to the first 10 and then add the, that, make it an add end like that. So that's the difference between arrow way and writing an equation.
And I'll, maybe I'll do the next couple ones. I'll do them both ways just so you can see it. 25 plus 5. Probably see that 5 and that 5. Those are partners to 10. So we've got 20. We've got 5. And let me write this out the arrow way. Adding the 1s first here. We have 5. And this is how you write addition in the arrow way. Plus 5 with an, then above the arrow like that. And 5 plus 5 is 10. And then I can add the 20. Plus 20. 30. And that's 3 tens, 0 1s. 30. The equations, if I was going to write equations instead of the arrow way, I would write 5 plus 5 equals 10. And 10 plus 20 equals 30. Now there's something I should mention here about arrow way. And I'm going to have to go back and erase some of this to show it to you. There is a tendency sometimes to get lazy about writing equations. You see this 5 plus 5 equals 10. And then just write, well, why can't I just write, then write the plus 20 here? equals 30. Why can't I just do it like that? And a lot of, eventually everybody will make this mistake. Almost, at least everybody I've ever met has made this mistake. When you write this, the problem with it, and the reason why you can do this the arrow way, but you can't do it with an equation, is because this is 10, and this is 30, and you're saying that 10 equals 30, and they equal 30. You those expressions have to be equal for you to write that, and they're not. So you can't really just do a lazy equation that way. That's what the arrow way is for, is so that you don't write equations that aren't true. If you're going to write equations, you have to write two different equations. Rewrite the 5 plus 5 equals 10, and then the 10 plus the 20 equals 30. You could do this all in one equation and it would look like this. 5 plus 5 plus 20 equals 30. That's what it would look like if you wrote it in one equation. But that's how you but that's not really how you do it in your head. What you do in your head is you really add these two fives first to make the 10. That's this equation. And then you add the 20 with this equation here. And so the arrow way is just shows how you do those steps in your head and how one step leads to the next. And that's all I'm going to do. I'll do one more arrow way. And then you don't have to use it. You can just keep writing the equations, which we practiced a lot. So everyone should be used to those. 20 and 5. And this 8. Now we can keep splitting up the 20 and the 5. But I see like that this isn't going to make 5 and 8 aren't going to make a 10. But I know I can make an, a 5 and a 3 out of the 8, and that will make a 5. With You'll see what I mean. Because I see this 5 right here, and I, want, I need another 5 to make a 10 with it. So the rest of the 8 would be 3. So I'm going to make a number bond out of the smaller add-in this time. And so, arrow way, this is going to be 25 plus 5 gets us to 30, and then I'll add the 3 more, which will make 30 plus 3, 33. And the equations would look like this, 25 plus 5 equals 30. And then I add the 3 more to the 30. 33, and that's where it goes in our place value chart, and that's our sum here. All right, now I'm going to quit doing them both ways every time. Uh, 24 plus 8. Well, I see that 4, and it needs a 6, so I'm going to get a 6 and a 2 from this 8. 24 plus 6 equals 30. And 30, right, because that's, that's the 30 right there. And 30 plus the 2 more that's still left is 32. 3 tens, 2 ones, 
32. And I'll do this one just the arrow way. 23 plus 9. So the 3 needs a 7. So that 9 can be a 7 and 8, 9, a 2. This is going to get us to 30. So that would be 23 plus 7 will get us to 30 plus that 2 more. 32. 3 tens, 2 ones. 32.